This is amazing. Now we're going to see about running Perplexica using Olama. Perplexica is a free AI search engine, similar to Perplexity as you can see here. So you can see it's running locally on my computer. And if you see the settings, it's all running in Olama, Llama 3 model, and the embedding also is Llama 3. So how can you set this up and be able to make it search same like you do it for perplexity. As you can see, it's automatically generating response based on the list of articles it's searched. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Perplexica, an AI powered search engine. Previously, I've already covered how to set this up using Docker, using OpenAI and Grok. But in this tutorial, I'm primarily going to focus how you can set this up on Olama. So this involves running backend, running the front end of Perplexica, running Seer XNG. I'm going to take you through step by step, but before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First step, git clone, and then this URL, and then click enter. I will provide all the information in the description below. So after this, navigate to Perplexica folder, and let's open this in a code editor such as VS Code or any code editor of your choice. So now I have opened that in the VS Code editor. There you will see sample.config.toml. So right click and rename it and remove the sample. Now we have config.toml opening it. So the OpenAI keys and Grok API key is none. We've got the Olama endpoint. We need to provide that. So it's HTTP localhost 11434. That's it. CRXNG is running in this port and keeping other things the same. That's it. Now let's come back to a terminal. In the terminal, just type npm i. So npm is nothing but node package manager. As a prerequisite, you might need to install node.js. So when you type npm i, that is npm install, it will automatically install all the required packages. So now it's all done. Now npm run build to build all those application. Then npm start will automatically start the backend and it's running in port number 3001. Now step number one is complete. Now step number two, run the front end. So now let's open a new terminal. Inside that, let's navigate to the UI folder, CD UI. So here, even if you see the folder structure, inside the UI folder, there is .env.example file. Just right click and rename it, same as before, and remove the example and keep .env and then click enter. Now if you open .env file, and this is what it looks like. Now we are ready. Just go back to our terminal. Same as before, npm i to install the package, npm run build to build all the required components, and finally, npm start to start the front end. So you can see the front end is running in port number 3000 now. So step two completed, running the front end. Now the final step is to run Seer XNG. That's where the searching happens. Seer XNG is a free internet meta search engine. So I've already covered in detail how to set this up locally on your computer. But as a quick summary, I've already explained in details how to set up CRXNG in my previous video, which I will link that in the description below. But in this, I'm going to give you a quick overview. Just git clone CRXNG in a different folder and then navigate to CRXNG. Open CRXNG in your VS Code. There you will have a folder called CRX and in the settings.yaml and under search, you will have something called format. There, you need to change it to hyphen JSON. You need to add that extra to integrate this with Perplexica. That's it. Now come back to terminal, make docker hyphen build. So for this, you need docker because that is a much more simpler approach. So make sure you download docker from docker.com. Now next step, docker run and this command. I will put all the information in the description below and click enter. You can see the port number 32768. That's the configuration. We initially added on config.toml. So here you can see the port number 32768. This is how you're integrating the backend with Seer XNG. So now when you type Docker PS, you should be able to see the Seer XNG running on this port. And you can even open that URL and double check or test if Seer XNG is working or not. And it's clearly working. So the third step, running Seer XNG is complete. Make sure you've downloaded Olama from olama.com and Olama pull Llama 3 to download the Llama 3 model. Now we are going to open the Perplexica URL. So as you can see here, I'm in localhost 3000. That's where the Perplexica is running. And in the settings, you can see Olama is there. I'm choosing Olama. And you can clearly see 
all the models which you have downloaded using Olama is clearly integrated here. Embedding provider Olama again, and I can even choose whatever embedding model I prefer. I'm going to use Nomic Embed Text, and the Olama API URL is same as before, and click Save. Now we are ready to run. Now I can say research about the impact of AI in healthcare and click enter. You can see it went through all these research or other articles such as Science Direct, ResearchGate and much more. Then based on that, it's writing me a response and it is given by Olama Lama 3. This is exciting. Now you are able to run Perplexica locally on your computer using Olama. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.